Hey guys, what I just want you to remember is um, this won't work on all the bloody hell on, <laughs> on all the iPhone and iPod Touches 4. It works on my friends who is the exact same model as mine, the eight gigabyte. Yeah, the eight gigabyte iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4, and it didn't work on mine, but it worked on his. Um, if you can get it to work, great. If you can't, um, I didn't say put it in the Springboard app folder, but stick it in there. See if it works like that. If it does, leave a comment. If it doesn't, and it just works in the general folder, also give me a comment. Um, I checked online as well, and it said if you restore the iPod back to its factory settings, so you've got no custom wallpapers on, it should what it should work like that. But to be honest, I wasn't really willing to restore my iPod back to factory settings just so I could have three custom wallpapers on each slider. Um, anyway, yeah. So watch the video. That's just a little thing saying yeah, it might not work. So sorry if it doesn't. See you. Okay, so once you're at your computer, what you want to do is bring up Adobe Photoshop or whatever sort of image editing program you're using and create a new file when it opens. The file size you should use is going to be 320 by 480. Okay, so 320 by 480. Pixels, pixels, custom and transparent. Okay, and click OK. Bada bing, bada boom, we have the page. Now what you want to do, this is going to be your first wallpaper. You can make it anything you want. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick gradient. You could use a picture. You could use anything. As long as you just quickly save it as these dimensions. Okay, just like that, just a very quick gradient. Now what you want to do is go to save as PNG. Okay. And just save it on your desktop for now. Okay, what you want to save it under page zero, zero. Okay, just like that. And then save. I always have mine interlaced. Okay. And it'll save, just like this. My computer's been silly. It's saved. And what you want to do is you want to go find that picture that you just saved. Mine's here. Now you can either create a new file for your themes, or you can go to your one that you've already been making. Okay, so mine's here. I'll make a new one. I'm just going to call it Wallpapers. Okay, it's a new folder. Wallpapers dot theme, and then I'll just open this. You don't even have to put it in a new file. You can just drag and drop it in there. Okay, so that's page zero dot png. We'll go back to Photoshop and make a page two dot png. I'm just going to keep my same size and I'm going to do a, a gradient going the other way instead, just like that. And I'm going to go to File, Save As, PNG, and then Page Two. Um, sorry, Page One. So Page Two will actually be named after with the number one and page one will actually be named with the number zero okay right yeah get me I know confusing so page one dot png save that one okay when it's saved you want to go to your desktop again or wherever you saved your picture grab your picture which mine obviously has not actually done oh it's there sorry page one there drag and drop into your thing now you can make up to 11 pages now once you've done that once you're happy with ha with all your pages you want to plug in your iPod you can also wirelessly do this via SSH I'm just gonna plug mine in because this is the way I like to do it it's never failed once so once you've plugged it in or once you've got your open SSH up I'm going to use iPhone browser. It's never failed for me and it's always worked. So once that's... You want to find your Winterboard themes. Okay, just like that. Click on it, it'll do all some loady things. K 
Okay, and your iTunes might pop up like mine has done here. We'll just get rid of that. Okay, so now it's found my themes. All I'm going to do is dra drag and drop my wallpaper dot theme over here onto there like that. And bada bing bada boom, that's done. We can now unplug your iTunes or close down your SSH device and go to Winterboard. Thanks for watching, that was how to have custom pages on your iPhone and iPod 4.